Good evening, I'm Keely Van Mittendorp. Here's what's making headlines across the county. Turning now to the latest in the COVID-19 pandemic here at home, public health reporting 1,050 more infections, raising our total to more than 218,000. There are also six more deaths reported overnight, increasing that total to 2019. Lastly, the Omicron variant total sits at 350 tonight. And in more COVID-related news, Medicare will start paying for some at-home COVID-19 tests. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services announced the move on Wednesday. The option should become available in early spring. The tests will have to be purchased at participating pharmacies and retailers, and the agency plans to release a list of those businesses when the coverage begins. Until then, the government suggests Medicare enrollees order free tests through the federal program covidtests.gov. And U.S. oil prices jumped above $90 a barrel today for the first time since 2014. Prices saw a 37% increase from December when the country was experiencing low prices due in part to the Omicron variant and its concerns. On Wednesday, OPEC and its allies said it will continue to modestly increase oil production, but Wall Street believes OPEC could do more to meet demand and call surging energy prices. And for a look at our forecast, here's 23ABC's Taylor Levesque. Yeah, we're looking at a freeze warning for some parts of Kern County from Wasco all the way up to Fresno. It's in it's in effect until 8 a.m. tomorrow. And with those with that freeze warning comes freezing temperatures. We're looking at temperatures in the 30s across Kern County tonight. 36 at the Grapevine, 36 in Bakersfield. They do warm up a little bit tomorrow. Some counties or some areas of the county into the 60s. Now I'll look at our seven day forecast. Those temperatures will get a little bit warmer as the week goes on. 66 degrees as the high on Friday and even seven getting into 70 degrees on Thursday. And here's a look at our mountain seven day forecast. Those temperatures also rise rise in our mountain areas 61 in Lake Isabella on Friday, 50 in Tehachapi and 49 in Fraser Park and even in Lake Isabella those temperatures will even rise to the 70s by Thursday. All right, thanks so much Taylor. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest update anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23.com.